Serena Williams, who is best known as a superstar tennis player who is considered by many to be one of the best female tennis players of all time. Upon becoming the highest earning female player by a mile, Serena has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate in California and Florida. After selling a couple homes in 2019, including a 6,000 square foot $8 million home in Bel Air and an 8,000 square foot $2.3 million home she owned with her sister Venus Williams in Palm Beach, Florida, Serena has since made the upgrade to Beverly Hills, a purchase that was made in 2017. We'll take a look at the former homes of Serena Serena Williams and her brand new contemporary Spanish mansion located in the guard gated summit states. The 6,000 square foot home purchased for $6.6 .6 million that comes complete with a Baja pool and yoga room. Ladies and gents, this is a house tour you don't want to miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. Serena Williams is a world champion professional tennis player who has a net worth of $210 million. In a typical recent year, Serena has earned as much as $30 to $40 million on court earnings and endorsements combined. For example, between June 2019 and June 2020, Serena earned $35 million, of which roughly $20 million came from endorsements. And the money on the court is well earned. Serena Williams has been ranked number one in the world eight times and has earned more prize money than any other female tennis player in history. As of 2020, Williams has earned more than $90 million in career prize money. She has won 23 single Grand Slam titles and 14 doubles titles with her sister Venus Williams. She also won gold medals at the Sydney, Beijing, and London Olympics. While slaying it on the court, Williams is one of the most popular endorsement athletes in the world. She earns 15 to 20 million per year outside of tennis endorsing companies like Nike and Kraft Foods. In 2004, Williams inked a $40 million deal to produce a fashion line with Nike. In addition, Serena is the founder of the self-funded clothing line S by Serena and also owns minority stakes in the UFC and the Miami Dolphins. In addition to making bank, playing professional tennis, and endorsement deals, Serena's always stayed humble. Williams uses her social media as a medium to support different causes, particularly in support of Black Lives Matter and the LGBT community. Serena founded the Serena Williams Foundation, which provides scholarships to universities or underprivileged students. In addition to dabbling into many charities, including Ronald McDonald House and Big Brother's Big Sisters, she has time to write her own book alongside her sister Venus and Serena, Serving from the Hip. 10 Rules for Living, Loving, and Winning. You go, girl. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Marlon Palmer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily. We previously reported on the homes of Jaden Smith and Tiger Woods, and if you guys would like to check those out, they're on our channel right now. Ring that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at McFly so we can chat some more, and let me know whose house tour is next in the comments down below. Let's get into the video. After the Williams sisters were killing it on the court, they originally purchased the almost one acre property together in 1998 for $525,000. After their purchase, the sisters spent two years custom building the almost 8,500 square foot mansion that overlooks the greens and fairways of the Belenese Country Club with seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms. After initially putting it on the market for $2.7 million, they ended up settling for $2.3 million in 2019. The multi-winged mansion sits behind gates and presides over a tree-shaded circular driveway found at the front. There are four bedrooms plus a den are isolated in a separate wing on the second floor, while two equally spacious main floor master suites occupy a wing of their own. Featured in these master suites are a spacious bedroom, a lavish bathroom, and a separate office featuring a curved wall of oversized windows. We figured an endorsement deal or two has been signed in this office, and not to mention the oversized windows give the room an airy and roomy ambiance. Open plan living spaces feature a combination of polished travertine floors, vaulted ceilings, and vast walls of glass included multiple lounges and dining areas, plus a generically high-end kitchen. I mean, the post-game Meals must have been an epic form in that kitchen. Guests lucky enough to visit can relax in a small home theater lined with arch niches that are decked out with tennis trophies. It wouldn't be the Williams house if it did not feature a large fitness room for those who fancy a workout. However, the most glamorous spot of the abode is probably found in the backyard. As this features about 5,000 square feet of terrace, it comes complete with a gazebo and a swimming pool and spa nestled with a waterfall into a tumble of boulders. We're guessing the Williams sisters spent a post-game workout or two unwinding back here. Serena's second purchase and first First in California is truly a thing of beauty. This classic Bel Air mansion sits on nearly three acres on Stone Canyon. The gated estate is just minutes north of the Bel Air Hotel with private trails in the back. The property features six beds and seven baths along with a study and private salon and 6,000 square feet. Upon entry, guests are greeted to a white on white grand hallway that features a combination of elegant furnishings and unique antiques. One of the doors lead to a private salon that features an abundance of salon chairs, oversized windows, and elegant red chandelier hanging from the ceiling. The bathroom is truly a thing of beauty as well as it features 
marble tiling, a grand stand in the shower, and lavish soaking tub perfect for relaxation. An additional bathroom connected to the master suite features a sink decked out with golden taps, beautiful tiling, and a spacious shower. There are a series of grand master suites and the first features a balcony that gives breathtaking views of Stone Canyon, elegant furnishings, and a golden chandelier soaring over the bed. There are additional suites that feature rustic furnishings, oversized windows, a large flat screen TV, and a large crystal chandelier. Attached to the first master suite features a soaring ceiling with, you guessed it, yet another elegant chandelier. A quiet study area with a small flat screen television and Serena's award-winning wedding dress. Within the suite features a walk-in closet that is literally the size of an apartment, probably my apartment. If there's one thing Serena knows how to scope out in real estate, it's her backyard. Throughout the backyard, the home features a combination of perfectly manicured grass and shrubs. This home features a large salt water pool nestled in between an elegant terrace and soaring manicured trees. The end of the pool features a pool house with lavish furnishings and a wet bar for those that fancy a Chardonnay. After making a series of luxurious purchases in Palm Beach Gardens and Los Angeles, it appears Serena has found a permanent home in Beverly Hills, California. The purchase was made back in 2017 for $6.6 million and features 6,000 square feet and boasts five bedrooms and six and a half bathrooms. This brand new contemporary Spanish home located in the guard gated Summit Estates and boasts breathtaking scenic city views spanning the entire valley. The enormous three-story home sits on a quarter acre of land and boasts an open floor plan highlighted by warm brushed oak flooring and contemporary finishes. The expansive master bedroom comes complete with a spacious stand and shower and soaking tub and features a balcony with amazing city views. The master suite features a combination of oversized windows and contemporary art that give the room the life. The large open kitchen features all modern appliances, marble countertops, a kitchen island perfectly centered, and Fleetwood doors that lead to the veranda, maximizing the California lifestyle. Some of the more luxurious amenities include control for a smart home system, Nest smart temperature control, and wine cellar for those that fancy a Chardonnay, of course. In addition, the home features custom cabinetry, custom plaster fireplaces, and yoga room for those that like to practice mindfulness. The home is decked out in Bianca Bella polished marble countertops, grass cloth wallpaper, penny round marble mosaic flooring, and solid brass hardware. Not too shabby. In addition, guests lucky enough to visit can receive a sensual massage on the elegant massage table or a game out to the grand poker table. I mean, I wouldn't mind if I could. As we already know with Serena's impressive real estate portfolio, her backyard is just designed for entertaining. With a built-in Wolf barbecue refrigerator, Baja pool, and outdoor spa, perfect for relaxation. Once again, she keeps a theme of elegantly manicured grounds and the large grassy area with no shortage of places to soak up the sun. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Serena Williams' homes and that massive house in Beverly Hills with the yoga room. Just beautiful. After seeing that fancy little house she snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of Serena Williams? Personally, I was a huge fan of the massage room. I can really, really use one right now. My neck is just all, it's out of whack. Out of Williams features, which ones were your fave? You guys can go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. Also love it if you guys would head over to my Instagram, that dude McFly. I post videos on there daily as well. And put house tours in the comments and we'll get to those as quickly as possible. I'll see you guys next time.